Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically send Google Sheets data to WhatsApp group. So basically, we are going to begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my Google Sheet. It has been titled Customers and Sales. So the idea is that once I enter the detail of a recent sale in my Google Sheet, the same data will be sent to my business partners present in a WhatsApp group. Let me show you. So basically, I'm going to enter the detail of a recent transaction or a recent sale that has happened. So the name of the person is uh, Delphi. So this is the customer who has purchased a Samsung phone, Samsung mobile from my shop. And the number of uh, quantity is three. And this is the total amount. Okay. So this is the total amount. So basically we have entered all the details of the sale that has happened. Now the idea is that my friends or my business partner will be getting this message on this WhatsApp group. Let me show you. So this is the WhatsApp group called as sales team. And let me show you the total number of members. So we have at least seven people. And this is the message that has been delivered automatically. New sales made, name Delphi. This is the product that has been purchased by Delphi, Samsung mobile. And the number of uh, product she has bought is three. And this is the total price of the transaction. So basically your obvious question is, how did I do it? How did I send the data from Google Sheet to my WhatsApp group? So basically here I've used an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Now the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you the process. Now before we begin, there are two things I have to mention, actually three things. First of all, we are using chat API to send the WhatsApp messages. Now there are many more options other than chat API like GupShub. Second thing is Pabli Connect doesn't own chat API. Chat API is a third party software we are using to send WhatsApp messages. And the third and perhaps the most important thing is chat API is definitely not free. Okay, so to begin the process, all you have to do is in the new tab, just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why are we working in incognito mode? Well, the issue here is if you're working with Google Sheets and have multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be problem of authentication. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets to WhatsApp group. Google Sheets to WhatsApp group. In the bracket, let me add just group. Okay, and let me just click on create. Now, of course, you can give any name according to your discretion, it's totally up to you. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is basically the trigger window. So now we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Now, before uh, we actually begin the process, there is uh, something There is something I have to tell you. Now, if you want to access or clone this workflow, the link of the template is available in the description box. Okay, so now in the choose app, let me just make it as Google Sheet because we want to receive all the data from Google Sheets. That is why Google Sheets it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so new spreadsheet row is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if this condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new row is added in Google Sheet, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, we only have one trigger event that that is new spreadsheet row. Now in case if you want more trigger events, all you have to do is just approach the help section and when you click on the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums. You can make a request here that you want so and so trigger events. Okay, so let me just go back to Pabli Connect. So basically the gist is we are trying to integrate Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. So basically let me show you the newly created Google Sheet I have. So this is a new Google Sheet that I have built. And uh, basically it has the same columns, customer name, product purchased, quality and of course the total price. And the name of the Google Sheet is product and sales. So basically the gist is we are going to integrate this particular Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. So let me just first click on add-ons. So when you click on add-ons, you will find an add-on called as Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now Pabli Connect Webhook is an add-on that I have installed in my Google Sheet. Now since you are beginning fresh, Pabli Connect Webhooks might not have been installed yet. So first of all, just click on get add-ons. 
Okay, so when you click on Get Add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. So basically, all you have to do is search for Public Connect Webhooks. Public Connect Webhooks. Okay, so as you can see, this button is showing it is already installed. All you have to do is click on this button and Public Connect Webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now, there is something you should know after installing Public Connect Webhooks. Do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again. After installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So let me just cancel this. Go back to add-ons, clicking on Public Connect Webhooks. And let me just click on Initial Setup. Okay, so before I do that, there is something I have to show you. I actually forgot. So this is uh, the last data entry column. Remember this, column D is our last data entry column. Because after column D, we don't have any reason to fill any data. Column D is our last data entry column. The reason I'm mentioning is because when we click on initial setup, this window will actually get hidden. Okay, so as you can see, we have the window initial setup. So first of all, let's deal with this uh, field that is the trigger column. Basically, we have to fill two fields, the webhook URL and the trigger column. We will deal with the trigger column first. So basically, the trigger column is always the last data entry column. I repeat this again, the trigger column is always the last data entry column. In our case, the trigger column is column D. Okay, D is our last data entry column and we have mentioned it. Now, uh, we have to figure out our webhook URL. So this is how you get your webhook URL. You go to Public Connect and you simply copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so basically we have set up our webhook URL. So all you have to do to integrate this Google Sheet to Public Connect is just click on Submit. Okay, so we have uh, submitted that window and the window has disappeared. So basically we have integrated this Google Sheet to Public Connect. Now there is something else you have to do. You just go back to add-ons, go back to Public Connect webhooks and just click on Send on Event. So this will ensure that any time column D is filled, doesn't matter which row it is, it will keep sending on the data. And since Public Connect is integrated with this Google Sheet, let us check whether Public Connect is capable of capturing this data or not. Yes, it is showing it is waiting for the data. Excellent. So how about we make some experiment here? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill some dummy details. So the customer name is Zoe. The product purchase is uh, Apple laptop. And she has purchased one. And the total price is 50,000. 50,000, okay. 50,000 rupees or dollars, okay. So this is the total price. And as you can see, the last data entry column that is column D has been filled. So let's check whether Public Connect can capture this data or not. Yes, as you can see, the data has been captured. We basically have the same detail that we have filled in our Google Sheet. We have the custom na customer name as Zoe. We have the product purchase as Apple laptop. We have the quantity as one and the total price as 50,000. Excellent. So basically, we have to send all this data to this WhatsApp group. So basically, this is the WhatsApp group, sales team. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to introduce one more window. So this window is called as the action window. As I mentioned, we are using chat API to send the WhatsApp message. So let's make it as chat API. Now I have mentioned two more things that uh, Public Connect doesn't own chat API. And the third and the most important thing is chat API is definitely, definitely not free. So in the action event, we have to do something related to uh, the group. Okay, so let me just click on get contact groups. So basically it will fetch that particular ID to of that particular group that we want to send the message. So basically this is the group that we want to send the message. Okay, for that we have to get the ID of that group. And this is how you generate it. Just click on connect. So in the new connection name, we have to fill the API URL as well as the token. So to get the API URL and the token, first of all, go to chat API. So this is the dashboard of uh, chat API. This is something you will get after you build your chat API account. And uh, you basically copy this. This is your API URL, easy, and paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the API URL. Now we have to fill in the token. You just go back to chat API dashboard and copy this. This is your token. You have copied it and you are going to paste it here. Okay, so the API URL and the token has been entered. Let me just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request. Okay, you will understand in a minute. Just click on save and send test request. Okay, so basically our action event was get contact slash group. So basically it will fetch all the details of the contacts as well as group that is present in my WhatsApp account. So these are all of them. Okay, so as you can see, these are all the groups as well as the contacts that is present in my WhatsApp account. Now, uh, as you can see, this is the ID of a particular group. 
or a particular contact we are not really interested in. Actually, this is the ID of a particular person called as Sophia. And similarly, we have a different person called as, uh, we haven't entered the name. Okay, for example, we have a contact called as Mayuri. So this is her uh, ID, okay. So basically, we have to figure out the ID of this particular group, sales team. So what we're going to do here is we are going to search for sales team. I'm just going to use Control and F, okay. And let me just uh, add sales. Okay, so this is the one we want, sales team. And this is the ID we want, okay. So basically, this is the ID we want. So what's next? So we are going to send a message. Okay, so we have figured out our ID. Okay, and we are going to input this ID in a particular field. Let me show you how it's done. So again, we are going to introduce uh, one more action window. And again, in the choose app, since we want to send the message via chat API, let's make it as chat API. Now in the action event, we just want to send a message. So let's make it as send a message, click on connect. Okay, so we have already entered the API URL and the token, so we are not going to do that again. All I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on the recent setting. This is the one, hashtag 969. Let me just click on save. So as you can see, we have a set of fields in front of you. Contact slash group, the phone number and the message. So let's deal with the contact slash group. So basically, we have to input the ID and we have figured out our ID. So basically, this is our ID. Okay. So I have already shown you the method how you can figure out your ID. You just use control and F. Okay. Control plus F. And after that, you just search for the group name. In my case, it was sales team. And uh, before this field sales team, you will have uh, the ID that is dialog zero ID. And this is your ID. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to manually paste it here. Okay, so that is ready. Now we don't have to enter any kind of phone number. Okay, so we are just leaving it as blank. Now the message will be something like new sale made. Okay, new sale made. And uh, what I'm going to do here is, as you can see, uh, we had entered the details in or in next line, for example, we have the first line, the second line, third line, it will look more professional. That is why I have entered all of the data in different lines. So what I'm going to do here is to introduce different line, next line, all you have to do is enter slash n. Okay, so it will enter a different line, new sale made and uh, name of customer. Let me add a colon. And let's map the detail. Okay, so this is the name of the customer that is Zoe. And again, once again, slash in product purchased, purchased, colon, and it is Apple laptop, once again, slash n. So we are going to build it in another line. Uh, let's type quantity. Okay, and quantity is one. Okay, once again, slash n slash n is uh, price. Let's just add price. The price is 50,000. Okay, so now we are ready. New sale made. Okay, so this will come in the next line. This will come in the next line. This will come in the next line. This will come in the next line and this will come in the next line. Okay, so all you have to do is just click on save and send test request. Okay, so it is showing the message has been sent. It's a very positive response. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just uh, going to take you to WhatsApp to check we have the message or not. So let me just take you there. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the message. This is the message, new sale mate, name of the customer is Zoe. This is the product purchase, Apple laptop. And this is the quantity that is one and the total price is 50,000. Excellent. So basically, we have successfully integrated Google Sheets and WhatsApp with help of Public Connect. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this uh, trigger window. Let me minimize this action window and let me minimize this action window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect and then you have integrated Chat API. Now, in the first action window, you have basically got the contact ID. In my case, this is my group or the contact. And that is why to differentiate it from many other groups, we have got the unique contact ID. And then you have uh, basically typed that contact ID in this action window, compose the message and send it to send a message on WhatsApp. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Excellent.